Hello everyone, in this video we will learn how to generate Creatomate videos using ChatGPT for new Airtable records. So we will learn how to integrate Airtable, ChatGPT and Creatomate in such a way that you take the title of that content from Airtable, then generate a content about that title using ChatGPT and then create a video using Creatomate. So we will be creating this automation with the help of Pabli Connect, where our trigger will be the new record taken from Airtable, then our first action application will be chat gpt where we will generate a new content and our second and last action application will be creatomate where we will create single render video let us learn how to do that so in this video we will learn how you can create creatomate videos using the titles or the options that are given over here in your air table and also you will be using chat gpt to create the content to create this video that will be needed to create the video in creatomate so let us quickly sign in into our automation software click on sign in so that I will reach this place where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli. We are supposed to use Pabli Connect to create the automation. Click on access now. That will take me to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Reaching here, I have to click on the big blue button on your right side where it's written create workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as generate create videos using chat GPT from new record in Airtable. Click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you like you can see on your screen. We have two windows, trigger and action. Trigger says when this happens and action says do this. Now before you start with the functioning of these options, you have to make sure that you have opened your Creatomate account and your Airtable account where I have created these two columns as the name and link. We are supposed to create one more column right here that we will learn once we choose our trigger application. So let us choose the trigger application which is going to be the first application for us where the event will take place. Then we will have chat GPT where we will generate the content and then in the next step we will have Creatomate where we will be creating a video. So our trigger application is Airtable. Let us choose the application Airtable and the event will be new record. Now we have to connect the applications Airtable and Pabli Connect. Click on connect add new connection and then you're supposed to enter a token right here. So go back to your Airtable and make sure you've logged in into your account. Then we have to click on this developer hub and that will take us to this place where we have to click on create token on your right side and then give a name to your token. I'm going to name it as videos in Creatomate. You have to add scope. So all the options that you need to check mark over here are given over here in the instructions. So make sure you follow them. Select all the scopes required. So there are in total seven and then the access should be given to all current and future bases on all current and future workspaces. Once this is done, click on create token and then it will be created. Copy it from there and paste it right here. Okay, click on save and then your accounts will be connected. So whenever a new record is created over here, it will be fetched by Babli Connect and brought over here as a response. Now before that, you need to add one more trigger field over here. So you have to click on plus to create a new field, give the name create to it and choose the field type as create time. So click on this plus button, type the name over here create and the field type is going to be created time. This is done, click on create field and it will be there. So come over here, refresh it and it will be selected automatically. For that, make sure that you have chosen your base and your table. So the base is going to be Creatomate videos. That is the name of your base and the table will be table number one and then this create trigger field will be selected yes it's there so let us first enter the data i want my topic to be hard work and here will be the updated link of the creatomate video that i will be creating so let us click on save and send test request and then it will bring the response to me that the topic i've selected is hard work now this is done we have received the topic for our video so our action application will be chat gpt because we will be creating contact based on what new record has been created in Airtable. So go to ask chat GPT as your action event, connect your chat GPT, add new connection, and then you have to enter the token. So for that, you have to go to open AI API keys page and log in with your account. Once you're logged in, you have to click on this create new secret key button and then give a name to your secret key. I'm going to name it as Airtable create a secret key and then this will be created. Copy it from here and paste it in the token section of your workflow. Save it and then your chat GPT will be connected to Pabli Connect. So now whatever record is created, which means that 
here we have the topic as hard work so we are going to create a phrase or an idiom that is based on this specific topic so let me write phrase on this is the prompt that i'm giving my command that you have to search for a phrase on on what hard work this is our prompt click on save and send test request here we have received a response as you can see here we see that yes we have received one code that is about hard work that we have given our topic so this is the one we have received now we want that a video should be created on which this code will be written so for that we will need to get our application that is create made but before that make sure that you have to remove these double quotes that are before and after your code because that might be a trouble in your quote when you enter it in your create made account so here we will be using text for matter that is a feature built inside pably and the event is going to be text parser click on connect the connection is not very different because it is inside pably so it will be simply connected now here you have to enter the text that you want to format so that we will take from chat gpt and we have the response here so this one is the text that we want to change now we want to remove these double quotes okay so what do you want before and after the double quotes so text match after and before you will put double quotes everything that is between both of these click on save and send test request and here you will have the same code but without double quotes you are going to use this one this code when you put your code inside your creatomate account now we will move ahead with our creatomate as your action application now search for the application choose your application and the event first of all will be to get a specific template let's see our templates for example if i'm going to use this big quote with image template for my video that i will be creating and i want my text to appear like this over here if i play the video yes like this i want it to appear so i will be taking the credentials or the important details of this specific code because i want to replace this code with my own code that i have created using chat gpt so when you connect so you will be first getting the details of that specific template that you are going to use for that what you do is connect add new connection and then you have to enter a token for token go to your create or mate go back to your main page click on these little dots and go to project settings here you will find api key click to reveal and copy it from here go back to your workflow and paste in the token section save it and now it's saved now once this is done you will be having the template id where you will have all the template list the ones that you are having in your account like you can see right here but i'm going to use this one the name of this is big code with image so i'm going to use the same this one is the one and i will retrieve all the values all the details that are related to this specific template when you click on save and send test request you will get the list of all the details that you have over here okay you have these elements about the color then about the font the alignment the background color even the picture url that is used inside this video is also here but we don't need to change the picture we just want to change this code with the code that we have just now generated with chat gpt so now we will get to our final destination that is creatomate again because we will be creating the video now this time the action event will be create single render click on connect and no need to click on add new connection keep it to select existing connection and click on save now it's connected and it has already selected the template as big code with image but if you want you can map the same because we have taken it up in the previous step so take it from this creatomate and map this id so now we don't have to put in all these details because they are not very much required no required is written over here but we have to make one change that is about the modification modification if you want to read more about it you can click on this blue modification written over here it will take you to this page where you can understand all the details about modifying your creatomate video now how to modify this video is using this template over here first of all copy this and paste it in your enter text or map data and then in the key section you will be entering what is the location of that specific code that you want to change all right and in the value section you will map what value you want to enter over there because we want to replace this code with the code that we have generated right so now in the key section what you will do is first of all go to your creatomate page and then select this code go to use template on your top right corner and then go to api integration in this menu here you will find the link or the location so this code is the location for your code that is already over here so copy it from here and type it in the search and map data now erase this part key one because over here code will come that you are going to map we are not going to enter this value manually because it might change with different video details 
and then in the value section you will erase the value and then put the data in that value double quotes from the text formatter that we have formatted you have selected the result so next time whenever you will click on save and send test request or add one more data over here in your Airtable record then that quote will be over here that is generated on that topic of Airtable from the chat GPT. Now when you click on save and send test request you will receive the response with the created video link and here is the response. See we have the URL this is the URL we will be searching first of all let us check if the URL is correct or not go to this URL and here the video will be played and you see this is the code that we were talking about and here it's done so once this is done you've created the video and you can download it from here to be uploaded to somewhere else or what you can do is because we have started our whole workflow from Airtable so we can go and update that record back where this link section is empty so now the last step is optional if you want you can just copy this link that has been generated from here or you can just make this a workflow a complete loop that we have started from Airtable taking the topic from this name section and then when the video is created this link will be updated over here so you don't need to go anywhere else just open your Airtable and you will find the topic and the link of the created video also so let us choose our last application as Airtable back and the event over here will be update record connect now no need to add new connection you can keep it on select existing connection and save because you have just created or connected your Airtable in this workflow. Once this is done choose your project our project name is Create Videos. The table ID will be selected on its own because we are having only one table right here. It's selected. Now in the record section you have to enter the record ID so you can generate it from mapping. Airtable new record and here we have the ID. So this is the ID. Remember to map it from there. It will be better to map it so that it won't change any time in the workflow. Now in the name section, hard work is here. Link section, take it from the second creator made and paste this link right here. Okay. Click on save and send test request and the response will be that it's updated. All right. It's done. So when you close this window, it will be easy for us to do a quick recap of our video. We will go to our Airtable and see we have the link right. This is the link and you can straight away access the link by clicking over here. So which means that our workflow is completed in one perfect loop. So we first took the title of our video from your Airtable record, created or generated a phrase or a quote from ChatGPT, formatted it according to the need of the hour and then created a specific template first of all. Then we created the video and then we updated our Airtable record back again. So this was the whole workflow. I hope this helped. Not just these applications, but you can integrate many other applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.